Hello everyone, welcome back to uh Cabin Max play spoopy games. Um Spoopy Spoopy. Uh so we're back with um Deadly Premonition. And uh I guess I was dicking around last time. And uh I guess we're headed to the police office. I think that was kind of the end end goal here, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're gonna be a responsible adult. And Which is go get the police. Yeah, let's let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get onto the police next little bit. Um, just because I I, I really want to like push the story a little bit. Just because I'm I'm really curious. I want some more action scenes and stuff. And ooh, we're at the sheriff's. In case department. you couldn't read the sign, there's some subtitles there for. You. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I have trouble reading one thing, so I read another. It's one fine building. Yeah, Zach. Chewing the scenery. Ch chewing it. So Perry actually said something uh, a couple episodes back, and I mixed it because I was in the midst of fighting, you know, zombie wiggle monsters. Um, and, like, it kind of makes sense to me, and I'm, I'm banking on what it is. I don't think it's ever explained. But, yeah, Zach is is you, you know, the player. No, that's my that's my theory. Right that's, 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 uh, that's Perry's theory. So uh, I, I kind of dig it. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, why else would he do that? You... Whoa! <laughs> I thought he was gonna fuck me. <laughs> Settle down, Rusty. Settle down. Okay, he did it. It's him. Look at that face. He Come did on. it. No, he did no, it. Shoot him and let's go home. So. Look at dude. He whipped that fucker out. Uh, My I name's York. At least that's what everybody else calls him, and he'll remind you of that probably every oh, yeah. time you meet somebody new. This. Dude, uh, quick little thing for exfoliation. Yeah. Need need some exfoliation. Yeah. Just a, a rough rag with some good, nice soap in there. Uh, just scrub real good in the pits, man. Like in your face, it'll it'll help. It'll help. I had an acne issue too. His shoes must be really fascinating. Really, I you know this is this is an anime trope. You can tell this is made by a Japanese man. He is. He is quite uh, effete. He uh, he is extremely effete, which makes you sound more effete. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you just use the word effete in a sentence, Mike. <laughs> you use the word effete in a sentence, Mike. <laughs> what? Uh, dude. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. Well, there are we... sparkly dudes. Sparkly everywhere. dudes. Let's save the game. We're saving. Yes, we are. That was quick. For daily reminder, I never daily report. Or report. Like that. Okay, that that makes more sense, I guess. Because um, what you do when you pick up the phone, you're actually talking to somebody. You're, I guess you're calling the. Man. You're doing the the Twin Peaks thing. Mm. You know, I could have observed, I guess, but whatever. Doom, doom, boom, 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 boom. This this game is full of fine ass. I yes. This is a Japanese pop creature stuck. In a grown man's body. Yeah, it's a ginky girl, but it's all uh, not a girl. Yeah, dude. It's, I mean, and you know, hey, if that's your shtick. I'm, I mean, that's yet another, like, throwback to um, to Twin Peaks, I feel like. I feel like, yeah? was as there... I recall, there was a character, very effeminate character, that was Ooh, involved that's in, cool. in uh, the police department. I, I, As I recall it, I, I haven't watched it in quite some time, but... Yeah. It's a slog to go through by today's standards, honestly. I imagine. Well, you know, actually, I was doing a little bit of reading on this game, and, I, and I've heard this game is actually used to be more than is now. Uh, a bit of a slog. Like, this game was hard to get through. Like, a lot of people loved it. Did it didn't have a different camera mode? Like, it had um, the old Resident Evil camera mode where it was... Yeah, well, I don't know about camera mode, but it was a... Like it had that tank commander feel to it, where you had fixed. Yeah, it was it was tank controls. Yeah, I'm glad that finally went away. Yeah, this whole Resident Evil feel is nice. I, yeah, I'm, I'm digging forward. the new like free moving thing. That's I mean that's a kind of a necessary thing nowadays. Um, tank controls, uh, while good for their time, uh, not 
Not not now. Don't. They were mainly just stress inducing nightmares for me. Like I feel like that's why the mechanics. You know, oh, uh, you did. know, it's the best way to put it, right there. You know, in those dreams where you're being chased and you can never just run fucking fast enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's what tank controls are like. Yeah, they kind of recreated that wow, feeling dude. of not being in charge of. What I you're found doing. your fucking key. Pointy tail flying squirrel. Yep. I feel like that sums up the game. That is the the, the spirit animal of this game. Pointy tailed flying, flying squirrel. No, but you know the but the, most of the reviews I read on this, uh, well, the, and it comes from the director's cut, which is this of this game for the PS3, I think, I think. Yeah. And a lot of people were like, "Wow, oh, this game fucking sucks. The story's so cool. It made me want to play it." So, <sighs> you know. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't know why it's doing that. You alright, man? We, uh... No. We on the thing? No. I can't. I can't do shit. Can't do shit. Can't do... That wasn't it. But it... God damn it! Try it again. You fuck with me, gang. Yeah, all right. I found the key. I thought he was fucking just the bird all day long. Is this what you're looking for? That's not what it said on the key. Okay, Otacon, shut the fuck up and let me go find it. How about that? <laughs> well, squirrel boy. Look at him. Even he's like... <laughs> I find your uh, encyclopedic knowledge of flying rodents to be a little off-putting, my partner. I, I mean... <laughs> Don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, I like parrots and shit, so I know some stuff about parrots, but I I don't like ah. that dude that dude knew his fucking squirrels. They're all out to kill us anyway. Shut up. <laughs> what, the squirrels? No, just animals in general. Oh well I mean yeah. I mean they're animals. We're animals, we're out to kill them and eat them first. That's my plan. What do we got happening over here? Uh Oh, Oh my. Oh my god, it's Eleanor Syndrome. Oh. I'm giving you the power to change your suit. I don't know, man. I, I feel like... What, classic? I feel like the classic is the best way to go with that. Yeah, let's keep rolling with it. I, I know there's nothing in here, but I just want to look at it. <laughs> just, I just want to make sure that they were not like... You know what? We you did some shit in this box while you were you looking. Did, you did so good killing those one things that we gave you a shoot 'em gun. Got your weight gain 5,000 over there in the floor. Weight gain 5,000. Give me Charlie Beth. Look at my sweet body. Open it. I said open it. Don't tell him how to live, man. <laughs> open it! Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's kid. why he was hesitant. He's just this like, is, uh, what the fuck in there's here? nothing in here, man. What do you want? Fine, fine. You know what? Fuck it. Here. Here. Look. Nothing. N kitchen room. Are you happy? You mean the kitchen? No, I the kitchen room. The kitchen room. Mm. Just going to shave here. And nope, not shaving. Shave this here. dude is getting the full treatment. I'm taking a dumbbell. There's a name written on his tumbo. What do you think, Zach? Oh, my God. York. Come on, man. Like, I, I feel like he could say it a little bit less and make it a little bit more pertinent. No, it's fine. He's Special Agent York of the Redundancy Department of Redundancy Department. That's That's his job right now. He's too busy having to reiterate the same information just in case your hmm. you know, adult Gaijin mind couldn't handle it. <laughs> My adult what is What is Gaijin? Isn't it like a Japanese term for uh, white people who are really into Japanese culture? Like Americans that are really into Japanese oh. culture? I mean, I should actually know Isn't that. Isn't it I like think. the same? It's, it's El Diablo Blanco. <laughs> 
whatever that term is that you use all the time. I think it means the same thing. I'm not really sure, but culturally, I think it's the same as, you know, just calling you, you know, Yankee dirtbag or whatever the proper term might be. Yankee dirtbag. I think I like that better than Gaijin. Yeah, oh, but, is it not the right one again? Uh, you fucking nutcase. Gray squirrels are losers. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna Look get. At... What was I thinking? Ugh. Why put all of your keys on With similar looking squirrel keychains? And chains? then just leave e a key in every room. Are you... Are you... Found the key. I, hope so. I, I don't... Like, I, I'm really into this game, and I'm really excited to keep playing it. But, I just feel you like... You spent ten minutes looking at squirrel tails. Oh, uh, this is a sugar glider. I don't give a fuck! Just go, just go. I don't give a fuck! Go downstairs. Go to the basement. That's I'm where out. he keeps his keys. I'm out. I'm out. Go to the basement. Jesus Christ. And also, York is just amazed by doors. Have you yeah. noticed that? Every time I open up a goddamn door. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Is this a door? Zach? This door wasn't locked. Why? Such powers of observation. Oh. Oh. Um. I don't think we're gonna find a key down here. Yep. Definitely. Yep. Man! Bet you that's not the right squirrel key. Stop leaving your shit everywhere, dude! It's not the right squirrel key, man. You're gonna take it back. It's just gonna be nothing but disappointment. I'm the one in here, then. York opening these doors like he fucking owns the place. I don't, I don't know what I was trying to get across there. York federal agent, I'm coming in the cell. Oh. There's something in there. I don't give a fuck though. It ain't something red. In there too. Yeah, there's a dude. That's a someone, Perry. Not a some. God damn it! Ah. Someone just left a bunch of cash lying around in jail cell again. Beep. Curvy-tailed flying squirrel keys. It, what was he doing in this cell? I don't know, man. Maybe he had one of those weird, you know, sex for favor relationships with somebody. I don't know. Sex for favor. It's really common in the American prison system for, you know, in guards to, you know, engage in sex acts with inmates for favors. It used to happen all the time. You guys can't see it out there, but I'm making a look of disgust. Well, period. I mean, it's just a fact of life. It's just something that happens well, yeah, in no, the prison absolutely. system. That's, that is just something that has to happen. People have needs, and they, you know. Illegal as shit, though, I mean, regardless. I, I suppose. I mean, isn't that just prostitution? Kind of, sort of. It's more like... It's like prostitution primitive, because you're bartering. It's like you're, you're finding an end with a prison guard <clears throat> that will make your life better somehow. Like, you're trying to do it for the favor of it. I don't know. It's weird. Justice system is weird, man. So it isn't even a squirrel. It was a chipmunk. Oh, God fucking damn it. You shit. This isn't it. I'm going to smack you in the goddamn mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. That fucking... <laughs> Okay, I feel like facial expressions are okay in this game until they <laughs> smile or look happy. Oh. Because his motherfucking rictus grin is the most terrifying thing I've seen. Don't salute me, you dipshit. He's gotta, he's gotta do it, man. I work for a living. <laughs> Don't salute me, I work for a living. She recently graduated. You know, oh, oh, our dream was to move out and become a model. Perry, that was your dream too. What happened? I'm living that dream, son. <laughs> Have you seen my big and tall spreads for J. Crew? Mm. No. No, I, I, I heard there was a lot of spread involved, and that's why you weren't hired. Uh, that's true. I do tend to overexpose myself. Also, you know, and I'm, I, I guess this is coming from, you know, I guess me, so take it as you will. Isn't it kind of nice to see a character who's the main character who smokes again? 
I I do miss that. I do miss. I that. don't know. Like I That's get it. Reserved for you know foreign people. Villains. Or villains. Yeah. Um, oh, that's lovely. Don't... Why would you do that? Because I'm a dick. Somehow... All the whistling's back. God damn it. Yeah, you guys can't hear it because I can't edit well, but there's a whistling track going on in the background. Why is he like... Not moving his lips while he talks? No, I mean, why is he a connoisseur of all food items? It's it's Dale Cooper from, from Twin Peaks. He was a connoisseur of every fucking thing, from the pie to the coffee and everything in between. It was you know it wasn't just you, a pie. You it was the best pie he'd ever had. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I, I think I need to get down on some Twin Peaks. You knew I, I recommend it just because I like David Lynch related projects because they're weird and hypersexualized, but I mean hell, you could probably get the same effect from just doing Gravity Falls. To be honest. Yeah, Just which, by the way, you want to talk about a show, everyone in our audience needs to soak the fuck up. Oh, it's, it's guys. A, it's a pleasant experience. It's a pleasant experience. It doesn't have the, I don't know, like there's a lot of cartoons around that have kind of an adult slated, you know, view. It's kind of an adult skewed audience. I can safely for. say, sorry to interrupt, we will not be going fishing in this playthrough. <clears throat> we are not doing thing? that. Can you go fishing? Yes, you can. You're in a place called Greenvale. Of course you can go fishing. Yeah. Probably have to shoot some things to come out of the water at you. Sweet. Oh, wow, those character actions were... I think, that, I think that dude needs some oil. Watch him fucking... And he just fucking puts his arms in different... No, he needs oil. Well, whatever you kept an eye on last time gave you that fucked up scar. <laughs> what? What's with the hand gesture? Twenty one hundred. Get in the car. Let's go. <clears throat> Yeah, George. I'm. Sorry, that mustache is just. I mean, it actually looks like it's just drawn on his face. Not gonna lie. Um. How? How did I? How drive? Ah. There we go. Much better. Not gonna lie, the car kind of drives like a boat. And if you've never driven a boat out there, uh, go oh, God. oh Jesus, uh, good because boats are actually terrible, terrible machines. <laughs> I hate them. Uh, you know, pick up stuff from. Yeah, dude, he just like stuck his hand out the window and just picked. God, the Austin Power skit again, <laughs> man. Uh, Where am I? How do I get out? Oh, okay. This way. This way. Yeah. You do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Don't drive like a maniac. Yeah. How <laughs> amazing is yours? Oh, Jesus. Man, the cars in this game drive so fucking weird. Like, seriously. How amazing is it, York? Ah, what did I hit? Uh, An invisible oh, fire hydrant. Yep. Of course. The scourge of the countryside. Whoa. Oh. Another one. Damn, dude. Apparently this game doesn't like me driving on the fucking grass. Yeah, I won't have you driving on those sides. Where am I going? I don't. There's little red arrows on your on your mini map. Yeah, I know. I'd be better if I. I guess I'm. God, this camera is. I'm getting a little bit barfy here. Oh, give me give me the map. Give me the map. That is not what I wanted. Map. Oh, there we go. Okay, where is? 
Okay, got to take the big road out and head up that way. So, yeah. Yeah, so, get back to that. that yeah. That's okay, so turn down this. I, once again, I got to state that uh, I'm, I'm a big shtick with... Uh, what? Wow. Hmm. English. Sorry. Ah! ah! Jesus! <laughs> oh, this is like one of those like crappy PC big rig games. In terms of driving. Oh my god. It's so bad. There are so many invisible Oh walls. my god, it's so fucking bad. Oh my god. And they give you the ability to tip your goddamn car just by cutting too hard. I mean... It's like, you know, driving described by someone who's never driven a car before. Like driving physics work. How, you know, a 12 year old well, I mean, sees driving work. Well, the dude who created this game, Sweary, or whatever the fuck his name is. Sweary. Sweary. It's like one of the bad dwarves. Swear. Yeah, classic. <laughs> Doc, dopey, sleepy, and sweary. Sweary. You know, the one that likes to say fuck a lot. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Fuck that up. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Was that a person walking along the road back there? Did Probably. you say that? I don't... I mean... Can I shoot him? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's that's all I'm really here to care about. Can I can I shoot them? Then I'm not really afraid of them. Pedestrians. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. And fence. Yeah, I won't let you go the uh, way that you could. You know, we can't Grand Theft Auto this shit and just drive through the trees and shit. All right. Of course. I'm a lone wolf cop. Yes. Loose cannon. Huh. Uh, 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 Yeah, because we all know how much you love treating women like Fine Shadow. <laughs> oh, God, it's back. Chris Brown, get out of here. I'm wearing an FBI poncho. Yep. Mm. Stop touching your hat. It's like somebody was a nervous tick and they have to keep touching their dick. That's kind of what it is. That's a weird nervous tick, by the way. I mean, out of all nervous ticks, constantly. I've actually met someone who had that nervous tick. Like, yep. I'm, I'm not gonna say where or when, but I, I, I know this guy, and literally, like, we'd be in the workplace, and he's just like grabbing his junk mercilessly and like pulling, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's the weird like lift, like the weird lift thing. Like you get a hold of the skin and you just kind of tug. Yeah, that's that's a bit much, man. I mean, it's one thing to have like some show of masculinity in terms of I'm not afraid to head to my balls in public. It's another thing when it's almost like a comfort mechanism. Yeah, that's I that. Mm. I mean, if if I got an itch, I'm I'm gonna itch. All right, I've seen way too many people in public scratch itches and people adjust their junk. Whoa! Freckly Fiona. Is that that, that wasn't name? that wasn't nice. Look at those braces. That wasn't nice. I shouldn't have said that. She's just young and got braces. That, it was just that smile. I was scared. <laughs> um, how absurd! Oh my oh, god. Oh, wow! Whoosh, whoosh. Mm. Oh, she giggled! Gonna put it in your butt. Hear that, George? You smell like ass. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like ass. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at him. I actually imagine he smells like what? <laughs> what is that? American. Uh, okay. Not telling me much about it, honey. Oh, it's the Straight. game you're playing now. Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay, two big words you didn't need to use in that sentence. Yeah. Hmm. Dicks. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, I felt we were getting too serious there. <laughs> I'm committed in the real world. Mm-hmm. I I still feel the need to apologize. Those giant circle rim glasses. You got a phone on here, honey? I gotta call somebody. I'll look you there. Mass Scrat? That's a, that's a friend of mine I work with. He's the one who built this computer. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's a cool guy, man. I like yeah. him. He's he's pretty rad. So, um well, uh didn't didn't get much done that playthrough. No. But uh no. I feel like we got a little little exposition. <laughs> little chitty chat. <laughs> With I, the squirrel guy, I feel like that. Yeah, that his was biscuits are tasty in your mouth. Fifteen minutes of just squirrels, squirrels, fucking and squirrels, putting his delicious biscuits in your mouth. That was that was what we got. From hey, this future episode. Chris, name this episode "Fucking Squirrels." <laughs> fucking squirrels. I don't have an editor, so I just have to yell at myself later. <laughs> so, I, you know. <laughs> Good God, you're turning into Dale Cooper, just randomly grabbing your voice recorder and going. Personal note: Fucking Pers- squirrels. Fucking squirrels. Alright. I mean, uh, yeah, nonetheless, I'm still enjoying this game. It's janky and weird. Look at this motherfucker just staring at me like he knows who I am. Look away! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Uh, Alright, well, more exposition and squirrels and hopefully more jittery monster shits on the way. Yep. Yeah. I more, mean, more of that. So remember, guys, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe so we can uh, keep doing this thing that we're doing. Also, don't smoke in here, because that's fucking terrible. Because it's a hospital. Oxygen-rich environment. It may blow up. York's going to do it anyway. He's going to do it, and I can't wait. I can't (laughs) wait to just watch him blow everything up. Uh, So, uh, one more quick thing. Uh, This playthrough is being done by Cab. So, if you want any more spooked games and something in the uh, someone who sucks at games playing a game that is terrible to begin with vein... Uh, you should just leave a little comment to uh, comment to do. Yeah, I mean, if you do want us to play games, you know, any scary games or adventure games, well, I don't really care. Give us a game to play and tell us who you want to play it because, you know, I've got a bunch of friends, including myself, and uh, I'm so much friends with myself. <laughs> I am my own best friend. I am. Yay. <laughs> um, so, you know, give us shoot us those comments, guys. Every time you comment, it, it really brightens up our day because someone's – you know, enjoying us, the which only is awesome. Thing stopping me from walking in front of a bus. It, no, man. <laughs> don't don't say that. That and you know your unerring friendship. Uh, uh, get the fuck off me. Oh. <laughs> Bye, internet. But my love. Bye, internet. <laughs>